previously on Joel's intros. Joel raced two chickens head to head with the winner being able to survive. Unfortunately, Peter lost the race and paid the ultimate price. Congratulations on last week. Really well done. Good race. Um, got some bad news for you though. Um, we, we, we set an example here on the Smallest Beans channel. It doesn't matter if you win races. You can't survive. I'm sorry, but it needs to be done. Ah. Now, I'm always looking for interesting ways to build in Minecraft, but today I'm going to be building out of Minecraft. That sounds pretty weird, I know, but basically we're going to be using some programs that are designed to help you build stuff outside of Minecraft and then import it into Minecraft. I'm probably going to be really bad at this, so please forgive me. So I found this website in this program called TinkerCAD. And it's giving you this work plane here, as you can see. And we've got all these things on the side. Boxes, cylinders, text, torus, heart, everything. And you can just sort of like plop them down like this and then you can make them bigger, stuff like that. And we're going to play around with this because there's just like loads of random stuff on here. Like you can get eggs, plop down an egg. And then there's this Minecraft setting here where you can choose what block you want to use. Like block of diamond, diamond ore, snow block of quartz, stuff like that, and you can export it. And I can load this schematic in in Minecraft, and then paste it, and then there's the egg we just made on that program. What the heck? The weird thing is, it's not properly symmetrical, look at it. It's all a bit strange. But we're gonna play around with this, as I think it's quite an interesting way of doing something in Minecraft. That was so easy. So let's start off very simple. Let's see if we can like build a house. We'll get a box here, go for like a brown color maybe try and get like wood we'll plop it down in the center we'll change the length and then we've duplicated it here rotated it by 90 and we're gonna attach the two like so and then we have a roof here but there you go you can kind of see how that's working out and look that kind of kind of looks like a house i'm not sure if you can can you add windows i'm guessing this program is normally not used for building houses like this this is our house so far let's put what can we put for the roof we'll put block of quartz and wood and we'll export it, and we're just going to see what happens. This probably is going to look terrible. Paste it in, then this is what we get, which is basically what we built. It just doesn't look very good, does it? Now, is any of it hollow inside here? Yeah, kind of. Man, this is a really weird, like, kind of way of using stuff. What could we build with this? Let's, let's mess around a bit longer. So with this, you can draw at this point, and it makes something. If I drew... A smiley face. A very hideous smiley face. Oh god. Oh no. It's a mess. Oh, wait, we can make the block smaller. Oh my gosh, it's terrifying. Oh, and then here it is in Minecraft. Oh my god, it looks horrible. <laughs> oh, what the heck? You can also do text like this, which is, oh my gosh, that's massive, but it says Joel the best now. Let's try and build something interesting, like a tree or something like that. There's already like these are already basic trees in here like this, which look okay when you ha add them in, but I kind of want to build my own. Now, I'm not going to lie, this thing is not easy to use. I'm kind of struggling to try and make it look half decent whatsoever. There's a lot of random stuff on here, which like, like what, like this. And it's quite hard to place down shapes. Here's a massive battery, for example. I'm really struggling what to do for leaves or just branches because it's quite limited. You can like turn these around a little bit. It is quite awkward, this whole process. At the moment, this is how it looks in Minecraft. It's not the best. See so if we can use this scribble thing to make branches. If we did something like this, made it a bit thinner, rotated it like so, lifted it up and brought it over here. Here. This could be a weird method of making trees. If we did stuff like this, and then we got some smaller scribbles and did some branches. Put them at like different angles and stuff. How does it look in game though? Oh my gosh, it's massive. That's not bad. That's not bad whatsoever. It's a bit weird, but at the same time, I rate it. I think it's all right. Now there is this leaf thing here, as you can see, which is massive massive but can you make it smaller you can but i think now is too small and this would honestly take forever to place all of these around but we'll give it a try just on these branches here and although it may probably look terrible at this size if you do it down a size it doesn't look half bad and i'll know it's emerald and looks stupid but that could be a way to make giant trees because they take so long to build and that didn't take long at all. That took like five minutes and I'm new to this program. If I learned how to do it properly and efficiently, I could probably do it a lot quicker. Now, can you add 
previous 3D models into the game, such as the Great Hall at Hogwarts here. Let's download this. So the entire thing's not loaded in properly, but what happens if we click the Minecraft button? <laughs> That's what it looks like, basic. But on the full level, it still it kind of looks rubbish, doesn't it? I think we might have to scale it up. Oh my gosh, it looks so fat right now. Stuff is happening. Okay, let's export this. All right, let's see if we can import this into Minecraft. And this is probably going to crash my game. Yep, it is lagging. Five minutes later and it's finally loaded in. And it's massive. Looks very weird as you can see, but it's pretty cool that I've just completely imported a random 3D model into Minecraft. It's not very often you get to do that. Obviously, lots of bits are quite glitchy, so I wouldn't recommend doing this. But it's just like an interesting experiment, you know? So next up, we're on World Painter, which I've never used before, but it's more for landscaping. You can create a map with this. There's a lot of tools on screen right now. It's kind of scary. I don't know what any of them do. I've just sprayed some purple stuff. What does that do? But look, you can add so many trees at once. These are all just adding trees here. These are pine trees. Go pine trees, just covering the entire map. So if I get this map somehow, and I don't know how. Oh, save world. Let's load up Minecraft. And here it is on Minecraft, loading into it. And yes, there are pines everywhere. We've got a chest. What the heck is this? This is just random stuff. Interesting. <laughs> There's just pines everywhere. What the heck? How far out does this go? I'm confused by how big this landscape is. Okay, so it just goes to here and then it just cuts to water. Interesting. All right, well, we don't actually want a full pine landscape, although this does look pretty cool. Are these custom pine trees? Or are they just normal? They look kind of custom, but, but let's, let's experiment a bit more. So you can choose the dimensions. Okay, you can do it hilly or we can do it flat. Let's start with completely flat and we'll do it all ourselves. So you can see on the outside, there's just randomly generated land, which is cool. So now we can do what we want here. So we can make the terrain higher by left clicking here. Oh, and you can choose the radius, so there you go. Or you can make it lower by right clicking and it makes a pool. There we go, our map's done. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, I can't wait to see how this one looks. Loaded in. So here's what, what we made. Oh, we've got a hill here, which is weirdly circular. And then we've got one over here as well. Wait, where's the water? Ah, there it is. Good, good, good. Yes. <laughs> That looks so stupid. All right, let's delete this. This is terrible. We'll flatten it all out like so. All right, let's just try and build like some cool mountains or something. I've never used this before. Maybe we'll create like a cool mountain range here. Can we go really high? Let's find out. Seems like we can just keep going and going and going until it hits the, the, the ceiling. You can change the terrain as well. So let's make like the top of this like snowy. If I spray it on, that kind of might look terrible. Oh, so there's actually a thing here called Raise Mountains. I think this might be a little bit better. We'll do compare the two. Oh, I didn't realize there's other types of brushes up here. So you can do massive ones like this. I think that's the, the sky limit, maybe? I don't know. What's going on? Why is that looking like dirt? Oh, gosh. What What the heck have I done? We'll change the spawn point. And let's just go have a look at this. Because I think this is going to look terrible. Oh, my gosh. It does look kind of terrible. Like, seriously, it just looks like loads of weird marshmallows or something. <laughs> Oh, it looks rubbish. What about the ones that we did at the start with the raising of the terrain? Oh, they go up higher. But once again, they look, yeah, like, not like mountains whatsoever. And the, uh, the, the yeah, the, yeah, it just, yeah. We'll make like, a, try and make like a mountain range, if that makes sense. What does this do? If I do this, it looks like it does like a sort of random pattern. Maybe this could make some cool sort of mountains. I have a feeling this is just going to look like a massive mess. Let's find out. So here's what it created. Okay, it's kind of more natural looking. Oh, so once it gets above a certain height, it looks like it actually turns into snow and stuff like that. So that's interesting. Maybe if we mix this with another sort of terrain. Also, what is going on there? It's just like, oh, there's a sea temple there. What? what? That's, that's so weird. But okay, I think I'm kind of got an idea of what to do now. Let, let's see, let's see. This is just such a weird thing to do. Let's just export it again. Fingers crossed. This might actually look half decent. All right, so this is our mountain range here. Whoa, that is sheer. Oh, it's massive. What the heck? All right, it kind of just looks terrible at the top, doesn't it? All right, maybe we should stop with mountains as obviously they're quite tricky. Let's try something else. 
So I've just downloaded some custom trees, and if you look here, there's sort of a preview of them. So this is what World Paint is really good for. You can import these really cool trees which are made by different people. So let's get one randomly like this one here. And we can save this as a new brush. And then we put the intensity way down. It looks yellow, but it's apparently meant to be trees. I think the brush is too dense. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. What's going on? Oh no. Okay, so these are what the trees are kind of meant to look like. Obviously the brush is too intense. But you can see these trees are massive. And there's loads of different types of trees you can do. Hopefully that's better. You can see it's lighter. Let's see what it looks like. So here you go. The trees look pretty cool. As you can see, all spread out a bit better this time. I've done a bit of Googling and I've learned there's custom brushes and we're, we're gonna try and make something actually decent now. This is gonna be our last attempt. Let's hope it looks good. So we now have these custom brushes. So they'll do stuff, for example, like make a moundy hill, which is like completely random, looks really cool. Or you can do a mountain, as you can see here, you just push it down and it'll make a really cool looking mountain. You can make a cool river like this. So basically just some other stuff, but first we're gonna start out with a basic brush as we're gonna turn this into a desert island. So first let's just shape this island and then we're gonna change all the terrain around the edge to sand, of course. So there, we've got that. It kind of looks a bit weird. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how to make this look good. There might be a better way of doing this, but I don't know. I'm gonna add a river in here, like so. And we're not gonna use that brush we used earlier. Instead, we're just gonna make a custom one. Just something quite small. All right, and then we're gonna make a big mountain in the center here. Let's see what this looks like. We'll put it on the mountain setting. Hold it down. And that seems to have made a mountain. It's a bit small. Maybe let's go bigger. We'll put that there, like so. Goodness knows what this actually looks like. I feel like this needs to, is meant to be bigger. It's kind of added some weird terrain around it, but that kind of looks like it could be a mountain. We'll do some hills around, like so. This area can be really hilly. So let's get in some of those custom trees again. What would suit this island? Let's have a look. Palm tree sort of thing would have been good. Here we go. We'll just sort of like dot them around the edge maybe. And let's build like another mountain on this side here. There we go, nice. And then we'll do like the hill mounds around the edge. And let's find out how this looks, shall we? Fingers crossed this actually looks okay. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be sad. Palm trees look good. Ooh, okay. So we got the beach here with some palm trees on it. That looks cool. Uh, we've got blooming sea temple spawning in again, but ignore that. Let's have a look at the mountains. So our river goes through the center there. And we've got some interesting looking mountains. Not sure if I'm a big fan of that. They don't really fit the rest of the island. They're too pointy, but we're definitely making progress here. And seeing as this took me like 15 minutes to make, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Definitely gonna experiment with this in the future and try and make some cool stuff with it. It's a really cool program and I definitely recommend trying it out. I'm excited to learn with this because at the moment I'm a massive noob and this, this happens, it doesn't look good. But there you have it guys, some pretty cool programs there that are really interesting and can be used to make some cool stuff in Minecraft. Never used this before, but I'm definitely gonna use World Painter again. Not so sure about the other one. Thank you so much for watching though guys, make sure to leave a like and comment if you did enjoy this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Goodbye.